Hello, this is Stéphane Marek from Conductor, and welcome to this lecture on Kafka operations, during which using Conductor we will be updating Kafka configurations for the brokers and the topics. So I'm going to connect to my Kafka cluster, and what we're going to do is that we're going to take our broker and we want to update configurations for our brokers. So we can do this using configuration files in Kafka, but you can also do this from Conductor on the fly. So when you click on a broker, you see the broker configuration, and some of them will have locks. A lock, that means that you cannot update the property directly from Conductor. You'd have to update the configuration file and do a rolling restart of the cluster. But anything that doesn't have a lock can be upgraded using Conductor. So that means, for example, that if we wanted to say how long we want the data to be kept for, so there is a retention mechanism. So if I look for retention, as you can see, this is showing me all the retention settings for Apache Kafka. Now, what I'm interested in is that by default, the log retention hours is seven days, but I can go ahead and modify log retention milliseconds to override it, okay? So let's try to update the settings. So there's an update button when you hover over the value. And so the current value is null, but we're going to set a new value for this broker. And actually we want to set it cluster-wide for all brokers. So for this, we want to set, for example, a retention of four weeks. So four, times seven days, times 24 hours per day, times 3,600 seconds per uh, hour is equal to this number, okay? So about 2,419,200 uh, milliseconds. And I'm going to override it. And this is going to be set for all my brokers. So actually this is absolutely not correct because I need to add three zeros uh, because of the uh, millisecond. I was doing it in seconds. But the cool thing is that Conductor is actually showing you exactly what the set you set the setting to. So this is quite nice. So override, and now we get 28 days, and this is perfect. So now, using Conductor, we've done the operation of updating a broker configuration for just one broker or all brokers directly using our uh, UI, which is really, really easy and neat. So another thing you can do with Conductor is edit topic configuration. So if I go, for example to my locations topic, and I go to configuration, yet again, I'm able to see which kind of configuration I can edit. So right now we see that the segment bytes is set to 1.1 gigabytes, but I could go ahead and edit it if I wanted to. We can see that retention is second is set to 28 days, and this is inherited from the broker. But we could set up an override and say, you know what, I don't want this, I want 10 times that less, I just want less days, so I'm just going to remove uh, the first two and see what that means. So now we want to set the retention to four days, 20 hours, 26 minutes, and 40 seconds. And again, we are able to just edit the topic configuration directly from Conductor. So if you need, by the way, some documentation around what each setting does, you just hover over the configuration name and we give you the description directly from the documentation, which is quite handy as well, okay? So I hope you liked it. Just a quick lecture on how to show you to do Kafka operations, to update uh, configurations for brokers and topics in Conductor. And I will see you in the next lecture.